Many people think working with big cats is glamorous, but it's quite the opposite. When the majority of people think of a big cat, you think scary, feisty, with big teeth and that will kill at the sight of food. This isn't always the case. Just as people, when you feel sick, you often don't want to eat. We know that certain medications can help us, but unfortunately, a big cat doesn't. Most of our cats are already past 15 years old, which is old for these cats. In human terms, it's like being over 100. Right now, many of our cats are over the age of 20, which is practically unheard of elsewhere. Because we are dealing with so many old age issues, we have a lot of cats who get medications twice a day, every day. If you have ever tried to pull a cat, you can appreciate the lengths our keepers have to go through to get a cat to take their meds. Our cats eat every day, where most zoos fast several days a week. But our cats are old and no one likes to go hungry, so seven days a week the cats are fed by an army of volunteers. The food is taken from the freezers to the cooler a day or two in advance to thaw, and then each day special diets are meticulously made up for a huge number of cats because of the medical issues they have. Before the regular feeding routes can go out, we have a meds person that goes to each cat with a special diet and medication to get them ready for the day. To get a big cat to consume medication is a rather difficult task. You almost have to trick them into taking it. Most times you can hide the pills in what we like to call a pill pocket in the meat. But medicine doesn't taste good and most times if they get a whiff or a taste or suspicious of what you are trying to do, they will refuse to eat. You also need to know each individual cat. Cats are very intelligent and most times they know exactly what you're up to. So it will be your task to make that medicine worth it by delivering it in their favorite food, which for most of these older pickier cats can change on a daily basis. Which is why it's so important that we log everything we do and observe. Even if you get breakfast in bed and your favorite food is delivered on a stick, if you don't feel like eating, you don't feel good, and you don't know that the food will make you feel better. Thus, there is a lot of patience involved trying to feed a nauseous big cat. This is Keisha. She has high blood pressure amongst many other medical issues. It's a rather hard task getting this beautiful girl to eat. The keepers would have to be very patient with her, running up and down her cage until the perfect moment where they can give the perfect size chicken thigh at the exact moment she wouldn't spit it out. If she does, she thinks it's your fault for dropping it and well, she'll refuse to eat and give you an angry growl. It's also a lot of pressure as many of these cats need the medication to keep their systems going and not receiving the medication could result in them getting really sick or even death so keepers need to remain positive at all times. Once they've taken their meds after trying every trick in the book, every person who succeeded in giving a cat's medication knows the little happy dance you do because you know now they will start to feel better. As many of our cats are so old, we try and provide the best possible lifestyle for any cat to enjoy. Every cat has a beautiful cat attack with large trees and foliage. They are provided with platforms and dens for plenty of places to hide and escape the weather or just hang out under the shade of their beautiful trees. The big cats, mainly tigers, love to swim, so each of their enclosures are fitted with at least one pool so they can lounge, relax and cool down from the Florida heat. I don't know about you, but Big Cat Rescue definitely sounds like a great place to retire. Want to intern 
volunteer, donate, or simply learn more about us and our mission? Visit BigCatRescue.org today.